Okay, here we go. Uh, this is a new series I'm doing. Um, where I'm just going to try to go out here uh, several days out the week and try to make me between $400 to $800 per day. Um, I got two little stops I'm going to do today. Um, I'm only going to do this on Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays until I get tired of it. Um, but today I got two stops I'm going to do. Um, and that's all I'm going to do this week. Uh, right here is a Fisher Packel dishwasher. Uh, this Fisher Packel dishwasher is a uh, one that's getting um, installed for a customer. Um, it's a warrant is under warranty. Fisher Packel will actually send you the dishwasher or the customer the dishwasher. They'll pay you four hundred dollars to install. So this one should go pretty easy because they have this exact model already installed. Um, so I'm gonna actually just be swapping out. And this is the stuff that I brought. Uh, I don't know what I'm getting into. So I just brought me some air shims just in case I have to uh, lift it up and, and something crazy going on where I might have to lift it up to get it uh, to get some room up under the dishwasher. I can put the air shims up under there, get the dishwasher legs up. Makes it a lot easier for me to actually release the legs if I have to. Uh, I brought my actual appliance slide so I can actually slide it out. Uh, once I uh, get the get the dishwasher coming out, I can slide it out, protect the floor, and on top of that, I got the old trusty um, hand cart. So this is what I want to be using to actually go do this install. I might change the hand, uh, change that dolly out. Um, I'm a little older now, so I need something a little bit more support. I might go ahead and get my uh, a real appliance dolly that makes it a lot easier. I can scrap it on and all that stuff. But this is what I'm going to use. I'm going to go ahead and do this install. I also got an ice machine. I got an ice machine at a restaurant. I'm going to take a look at. So I'm going to look at the ice machine on the way to this one. And um, I'm going to try to be done. Uh, right now, it's about 9 o'clock in the morning. Um, I'm going to try to be done with everything and be back here no later than 3 o'clock. So um, I'm on the way. Okay, we're here at our first stop, uh, Manutop. I might be saying it wrong, but this is a nugget ice machine. The pr uh, problem we have, uh, it won't dispense. And the reason it won't dispense is the actual dispenser motor. It's a dispenser motor right here. It's actually uh, gone bad. I checked the inside of the tub. Inside of the tub. Uh, there's nothing bonding it. The motor is just going bad. It won't spin. So we got to get a new gear motor there. And how this thing works is pretty, uh, pretty, pretty, <laughs> pretty neat. Uh, this is the actual evaporator. The evaporator is here. And what they're doing, they're actually, uh, uh, I think they're pumping water through here. So let's take a look. right there and the water is actually coming up and that thing is just cutting this it's a gear through here that that motor right there is driving and okay give me one second okay so what happens actual water this is where the water come in that's the float switch right here that indicates when it's time to let more water in the water comes in through here and you have a, uh, a little water bottle and stuff right down there where the water comes in. As the water comes in, it actually, uh, it has that little float switch that actually let water seep into here. Pretty, pretty neat, pretty neat. All right, so from there, the water actually comes down through that tube, from that tube right here. And this is the actual water valve. Um, the water valve is right there. That's the actual water valve. The water comes up. Okay. All right. So here we go. Um, so what's going to happen? Water is going to come from out of here. It's going to go into there. And from there, this is the actual evaporator pole. So it's going to actually freeze. And that gear turning, like it's just busting it up into these little small uh, little uh, chunks of ice. It's just... Uh, it just send it kind of like you do with the regular residential ice maker ice box where you can get that crushed ice and it, it evidently 
disseminated through these gears as, as the water is freezing in that little evaporator chamber it's just busting it up into small pieces of ice and it's just uh coming up through here and they and they uh uh and it's just coming down through that gate this right here is the actual uh how i can tell when it's full uh same thing uh uh regular ice maker at your house when the arms can't go down anymore once this thing fills up with ice all the way on the chute once that can't go down anymore it knows that it's filled and that right there is just a, a little reed switch and that little magnet comes through here and letting it know how many times it's actually opening up and it's actually counting how many times that thing is opening and closing in a certain amount of time because uh, that's how it knows how much uh, if it's making ice and it's, it's doing well but that's the problem um we're going to give them a a price to fix it um and this if you want to go read more about this machine here you go and just a little standalone machine they uh they have it at this little uh cafe they make a nugget ice and uh the way this thing dispenses is, is pretty crazy they have it's just a sensor here so i have this little cup that i can, I can put right here and the motor is just actually locked you go there and the motor is locked up and I've been able to break the motor a couple of times and let it spin. So that's it. That's it. And uh, a simple machine, simple concept for how it works. Uh, but you can fix these things. Uh, break money and fix them. So uh, that's what I got this morning. I got this one. I'm taking care of. And uh, I'll go ahead and uh, talk to the owner. They want to get it fixed. I'll go ahead. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get a schedule and order the part for them. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. We're here at the second stop and just making sure nothing here. Okay. And what we're doing, we're just looking at the floor, making sure the floor stuff is straight. Uh, I like to check everything before we get started and just kind of get a videotape of it in case there's any damage we have before and after. I'm taking a quick look up under. So it's going to be the exact same one. We're going to uh, get ready to take this one out and put the new one in. Then I'll record after it's done installed it <laughs> okay we're done we got the new unit up and running uh go ahead and get it started here let that one go let that one go so everything's working fine the new unit is installed everything looks good there so we're ready to go all right thank you again thank you. and have a ho happy holidays happy thanksgiving all right bye-bye